Om Shanti, welcome. Now we're doing the recording of 5th of September, God is saying. Supreme God Father wants us to help out those souls who are unhappy, who are peaceless souls. And that can only happen when we are merciful. And second thing, what we understood in yesterday's blessing, that you have to become like an angel. That means if you have your own desires, then you won't have time, you won't have energy, you won't have any form of thought even to help somebody out. So when we are like angels, when we don't have our own desires, then we are merciful. Wouldn't you like to be merciful to somebody in your life? There are so many souls in the world who have enough money, but they don't have peace of mind. They don't have good relationships. So if you remove the outer layers of the money and the name and the fame, you'll see what exactly the soul is suffering from. And for that, you need to have a very powerful sixth sense because you have to see beyond these senses. So God over here says, May you be master merciful and donate happiness to unhappy and peaceless souls. By being generous hearted, let's understand what does it mean to be generous hearted. At present, people can have everything, but they cannot have real happiness. Isn't it so? People are running after things, after name and fame, after desires, worldly desires, and still they don't have enough happiness in their life. So at such a time, give unhappy and peaceless souls the experience of happiness and they will bless you from their hearts. Now what is the method to give them happiness? Something which is not attached to the physical world and something which is desireless. That means they can be connected to their real self which is the non-physical self and they become complete. How they are unhappy? Because they got so many desires from the world, they have so many wants from the world that they are not being able to be happy and they're going after false happiness. So how do you make them realize that what is true happiness and what is false happiness is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. Something which is non-physical is true happiness. Now you've been questioning me. What is that non-physical? Because everything which I see with these eyes and I hear is physical, right? But there's something which is non-physical and the happiness which is unquantifiable, immeasurable is also non-physical. It's not about you attain something in the physical world that makes you happy. It's a journey. Let's understand in details. Gordon says, give unhappy and peaceless souls the experience of happiness and they will bless you from their hearts. You are the children of the bestower and so let the virtue of being merciful emerge. If you're children of God, then be merciful, right? If we don't believe that we're children of God, then we don't have any mercy, then we have judgments within us for others. Judgments like that, look at that person, even after having so much of money, he's so unhappy. Look at that person having all the clothes and all the material goods. Look at his face. That's judgment. You're not helping that soul out, but you're judging that soul out, right? So God then says, you are the children of the bestower and so let the virtue of being merciful emerge and share the treasures of happiness generously. Now these are, by the way, spiritual treasures, not physical treasures. Never think that someone is never going to listen. You try hard, but they'll never listen. They don't have the intellect to listen. Somebody has brainwashed them. Somebody has told them something because of which they're not able to listen. First of all, I need to be firm about what I'm doing. Only then when I'm firm and enthusiastic, will somebody else feel it and listen. I have to live it practically in my life. If I'm living it practically in my life, then I can share it with somebody. But if I have not experienced that happiness beyond the material world myself, how can I share it with others? Isn't that true? That's where Brahma Kumaris comes in, where you'll see thousands and millions of people actually who are living in happiness without having anything, some of them. So God then says, never think that someone is never going to be, never going to listen. Even if someone opposes you, you must not let go of your feelings of mercy. Blessings of mercy and good wishes definitely bring your fruit. Not your fruit you the fruit. The fruit means that you want somebody to be connected to the unlimited happiness beyond the space, beyond the time. The Supreme Creator, He is an ocean of happiness. And if somebody is not listening to you, somebody doesn't believe in all those things, okay, fine, there will be a method, there will be some day. You cannot curse that person. Oh, he doesn't have the intellect, he doesn't have feelings, he doesn't have this. We have to have benevolent feelings towards that soul that, yes, someday that soul is going to listen because 
everybody wants to connect to the source everybody wants to be connected to the place where they come from where they belong to and when they are not in connection they'll try everything in the physical world to stay happy but at the end of the day they'll find that this is not true happiness and they'll realize it that's the time they'll come back to you but if you don't have a merciful heart they will not come back to you an angel has a merciful heart be that angel who provides them unlimited happiness you can learn that at brahma kumaris and the benefit of that when you become an angel you become lighter in your mind and in your heart that's the benefit of it so why wouldn't you like to be heart heart full and mindful at the same time lighter and at the same time pure because that's your happiness so let's go ahead now this is today's blessing you'll move on to the next day's blessing very soon and enjoy this practice this and search for brahma kumari center nearby you with the som shanti